Oh. There it is, the crazy hummingbird. Oh man, he's flying everywhere. He's green with a white ring around his black head. And he's gone. I think I filmed the hummingbird today, but I haven't even said what day it is. Today's day 92. 92 on the Appalachian Trail. So far we've walked. Well, I meant to figure this out before. 12 and a half miles. Only a couple more to go. 18 into Monson. So, it's not gonna be a lot to video. I'm just hungry and out of food and out of water and focused really on just getting to town. <laughs> so, short video, enjoy. Maybe I'll film the town and they've done that. We'll see. Hola, welcome to Maine's 100 mile wilderness. Today is day 93. I think that's right, 93. Uh, it is Sunday, June something, and we plan to be at the Birch's campsite Wednesday afternoon, and then Summit Katahdin on Thursday. Uh, Lots of rules to summit and whatnot. I tried to pick up an ATC tag in Monson and the lady named Wendy wouldn't give it to me because I wouldn't register and she, it's a long story, but uh, so I had to give it back. So pretty excited to knock this out. Uh, as many miles as I can do every day until the end. At the end of the day, there's gonna be some big mountains and then tomorrow morning, there'll be a couple, but after that, it's cruisy. I just my pack weighs a million pounds, three and a half days of food. Let's uh, see what happens. It's kind of discouraging. Everything's heavy. So enjoy the last three days of the trip. Let's make this thing happen. This uh, waterfall is roaring. Look at all that. It's kind of a good canyon. Big waterfall. That is pretty when there's water. Oh, I better put this away. Yeah, you'd be safe to assume that the humidity is so thick you can't see more than a couple miles. It's true. It's thick. Uh, slow going today. I was hoping for better. After the last few days have been juicy fast. Today is stubbornly slow. Started around 8, 30, 9 o'clock maybe. And it's noon. I've only gone 7 miles. But my feet hurt from the new shoes. A little bit of burning. Trench foot, I think. And then, uh... The calluses that I've developed are just rubbing, getting rubbed the wrong way, so it's a steady intake of high levels, high doses of painkillers. I figure three days of high 800 milligrams three times a day. Maybe I'll swap that up a little bit, but I'm just, I'm going all out. I don't want to feel it. I don't want to suffer. Uh, and things are just kind of accumulating. My knees still hurt from for the whites. Oh, just those little moves are painful. I feel like a, a stiff scarecrow. But anyway, uh, when you see this, I will be on an airplane or laying in my own bed. So we can just talk about it in person maybe. But it's unfortunate things failed so close to the end. It should have been cruisy. No pain, nothing. Just a heavy backpack, which is heavy. So, just keep going. I'll see you throughout the day at different levels of, I can't even bend down like this. Like, <sighs> it's 
uh, no comments. It looks like uh, the bridge maybe went out a while ago. Not sure what's going on up there. It could be a fence, but it's kind of weird. Oh wait, did you just start? Well, I went a little faster than I thought I would, so I'm only on day six. So I'm just gonna keep going. Man, this railroad track's out there. I assume it would be pretty difficult to build this. Look at all this dirt and cutting and Blasting. It's pretty sweet. I thought I heard oh heard a train earlier. That would have been cool. Hey, I heard if you stay at the shelter I'm trying to go to lunch for 8.30 at night it comes by. That's cool. It's kind of crazy. It's so humid out. All the rocks must have been a few degrees cooler yesterday. And now they're covered in perspiration. They're just sweating. Like even underneath the shelter. It's crazy. Ooh, some schnapps. But a uh, quick stop at the shelter for some lunch and uh, going back out. But man, it's humid and hot and buggy. Whew. Good old Maine. There's that train. I just missed it. Cool. The dew point, ooh, maybe I didn't hear that. The dew point is warmer than the temperature of the rocks. So all the rocks are covered in water and so slippery as a dangerous slip and slide. It's quite frustrating. Never seen anything like it. Wouldn't be a good day of hiking without a climb here also known as the steepest climb in Maine. Well, in the 100 mile wilderness, there you go. So, once this is done, it's all downhill from here. <clears throat> I think there's three more mountains to climb, whatever. Beautiful spot. there next looks like there's a fire tower or something but uh maybe we'll get some good views from up there we'll see Ninety three miles. Ninety three fucking miles. Ninety three hundred. It's very pretty in here. I don't know if the camera shows it. But uh moving right along, seven thirty, stop, cook dinner, hike nine more miles. We got this. Woo! Throw it out there. I said we, I meant we. Hiking with Punisher and Bop It. Pretty exciting. 
and that makes it a we. So three is we. Ha ha. Uh, back up hill. Lardy. All right. Can't breathe very well. Probably the last blue skies we're gonna see for a couple days. Let the rain and fun begin. Oh, where's the trail? Whew. Oh, where's the end of your hiking stick? It's right there, just chilling. Um, hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. Why didn't you stay together? These are not hiking sticks anymore, they are crutches, just for the record. If I might say, the last beautiful sunset of the trip. I don't think we'll see the sunset. It's gonna be in clouds, but there it is. Appalachian Mountains, sunset, east coast. It's been real. Next sunset, over Tahoe. Oh look, somehow we find ourselves night hiking yet again. Common trend, come out of town, night hike. Uh, Punisher and Boppet are back a little bit. Uh, Punisher was waiting for Boppet and Boppet was, they were gonna decide where to go. The original plan was to keep going another five miles or so, but there's a shelter up here in a mile and Whoa. I'm sure I will upset whoever's already in it. This is life. So let's uh let's get to camp. <laughs> 